don't want to see you get hurt. And don't watch. If you want to argue, go elsewhere, please. Sorry. You're not even trying to understand what this means to us, are you? What is there to understand about a bunch of guys who have to prove themselves by beating each other's brains out? A six week, six to eight week shoot. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it, the shoot itself was six, maybe a little bit over, but you know, because we had to get there in time to kind of recover for from jet lag before we started working. But I was excited to go. It was thrilling to be in Hong Kong. Um, and I, I, you want me to tell a funny story? Yep, far away, yep. Okay, well, when I first got there um, and started working, I was just like in a room with a whole bunch of extras and I, I didn't have any place to go between scenes. And so I, I, I was like, what is going on here? I, I need a place, right? Jean-Claude had a whole like, trailer like you know <laughs> go whole Winnebago and I literally had no place and I went back to the director and the producer and he said like what and they said oh we're working on it and the next day still no dressing room and I said this is not okay it is in my contract I need to have a place to go not I'm not just gonna you know hang out here so because days can be really long right you need to have a place to be quiet to be private to to do what you need to do to prepare and to recover, et cetera. So I was, I threatened to leave and I really would have, but I went, they said, no, 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 we figured it out. So I went the next day and they had created a dressing room with, for me, which was my own little, you know, those VW vans? Yep. Old Volkswagen vans, right? They were like little hot dog shaped things. Well, they'd taken all the seats out and they'd put little curtains up around the window and they'd gotten a chair and everything. So I had my own little dressing room in my VW van. And uh, Leah, in terms of uh, Bloodsport uh, getting the gig, I suppose, were you sort of aware of uh, had John Claude, uh, when you got the gig, did you know who was in the film with you in terms of when you signed on for the dotted line or were you aware of any the other actors starting out? Because an awful lot of you were a sort of uh, budding sort of actors and act actors actress at that, that, that period. You know, sometimes in movies, when they think it's super important, right, they'll make sure to have um, the lead actors, you know, meet each other or work together a little bit so they can just see that, you know, there is chemistry or there's something that works. In this situation, there was not, first of all, None of us really, I mean, we'd all been working actors a little, you know, but Jean-Claude hadn't done very much. No. I had been in a star of another classic movie called The Burning, which is a classic horror movie from the early 80s. <laughs> um, but, you know, we were all just working actors. There was no, you know, there was no star here. This was like a low budget, SAG minimum kind of a movie, right? So you know, they weren't worried about any of that stuff. We just all and, met on the set and we just made it work. <laughs> and uh, Leah, in terms of, I suppose it had an all-star cast in terms of uh, martial artists, uh, some of the best martial artists in the world, karate sort of champions, uh, uh, judo sort of champions as well. And uh, in terms of the scene shooting, having to watch on some of those sort of scenes where you're watching on the background, were you sort of blown away by some of the actual fight scenes that went on in terms of the skills and the expertise of these martial artists? Um, it was impressive for sure. And I actually um, learned more about, it wasn't something that I knew anything about or cared about. So. At first, I wasn't really even appreciating what I was seeing, okay. right? But the more I saw and the more I talked to some of the people and got to know, you know, I started to really appreciate the level of skill. I mean, I had been a dancer, so like I did understand the physical skills happening there and uh, was really started to appreciate what they were doing, not just as fighters, but then having to choreograph those fights and making them look real, but not getting hurt. 